Hello, Shui here. I'm a carpenter based in Japan. Today, I'm installing the hanging wall on the front porch at the Noki 10. I called it a Noki 10, but it's officially called a ceiling if it's for a porch. Using Noki 10 boards, I install a ceiling in the 1800mm square porch space. I will then install the hanging wall that separates the Noki 10 from the Noki Saki. I've set up the step ladder, but I've forgotten to measure the vertical. I first measure only one installed pillar, and then adjust the vertical. As well as measuring the wall and adjusting it to the same measurements, I use a laser level to ensure that it is adjusted accurately. Construction vibrations will cause the column to shift, so I mark around the foundation stone to the concrete floor so that I can move them back into place if shifted. Next, I measure the ceiling height. The height will be right above the front door sash. The ceiling will be installed very close to the sash. I first measure the ceiling, then the hanging wall. Under the hanging wall, I will install the exposed timber called a movement at a right angle on the pillar. It's like a kamoi without a groove. I will insert the ceiling boards there. First, I cut the mortise on the pillar horizontally for the movement. In Japan, it has been called a porch before I knew it. It's uncommon to call a backdoor entry a porch. A porch isn't just for an entrance, but in most cases, it is. Porches are not just about the eaves or the shape. In this house, this 1800mm square space is called the porch. You can shelter from the wind and rain. If the shape is different from the nogisaki and can handle visitors, this space is called a porch. <laughs> Since the fern strips will support the exposed movement by about 4 cm on the wall side, the mortise and tenon joint will only be used on the pillar side. Now, I install the mume. As with the kamoi, I trace the shape of the pillar to the mume before installing it. In this case, only this side of the pillar will be exposed, so I only trace the shape on this side and cut it. This movement is made from cedar hardwood. All other Noki 10, birch boards, and fisher boards are made of cedar. To ensure they look consistent after painting, I'm using the same cedar. On the movement, I cut a simple tenon with a shoulder on both sides. I only need to join one side. As long as I have traced the pillar's shape accurately to the movement, I simply need to press it until the tenon's end is attached to the pillar.
If the piece is neatly cut, the installation is easy. I temporarily set the movement into position and measure the length of the frame to be installed on top. I don't start with the movement, I start with the frame. I think that's easier to install. Now, I install the mume. After inserting the tenon, I push it to the pillar side. It will easily fit if I wedge it on the wall side. By screwing it to this frame, it will be firmly secured. As the frame warps slightly upward, I also warp this mume about 2mm and secure it. It looks like it's sinking if installed horizontally. Above eye level, horizontal lumber should be installed slightly warped upward. On the outer side of the mume, I will install molding that separates the outer wall and the noki den. For this, the mume's grooves will be used. To extend the groove, I cut off the pillar. As the mume is warped upward, a carpenter's square will not align the corners. So I align the two groove extensions on the corner first, then cut the grooves on the pillar. I simply cut and join the molding by 45 degrees at the corner of the pillar. I call it molding, but it's the same as a frame. If it's used to separate the materials on the outer wall as the exposed wood, it's called molding. As with the movement, I install the molding around the perimeter. Compared to the movement, the molding is smaller. I cut it 45 degrees. In my experience, they won't fit on the first try. But on this side, they fit on the first try. I haven't seen this happen in decades. I'm using a minor joint. I chisel off about 2mm on the hidden side. 
This will snugly join them together, and the glue won't stick out. I make room for it. I have finished building the hanging wall. Since the area is small, I install the moist by myself. The moist can't be cut with a plasterboard blade. I don't want to disturb the wall worker, so I change the blade myself and install them. I'm now installing the ceiling frame. I mentioned earlier that the height of the ceiling comes very close to the sash. It is possible to raise it 10 centimeters, but then the exposed wall will be directly behind the hanging wall. From the outside, it will look fine, but standing on the porch, you would see the small wall. So I allowed only 50 millimeters spacing between the movement and the ceiling. I think this is the best way to install it neatly. I use 40mm square timber called Nobuchi for the frame. The ceiling points will be installed in the direction from the house to the Nogisaki. I'm now sorting the ceiling boards. There are red ones and white ones. Though they will be painted later, I chose white sapwood. Calcium carbonate boards were commonly used for Noki Ten in the past. The boards were painted after installation. Aside from fire prevention districts, solid wood is becoming increasingly popular as well as interior flooring. Among solid wood, 10mm solid cedar boards are commonly available. So I always use processed solid cedar boards and finish it with a desired color and finish. Inserting the boards into the groove, I install the ceiling boards. I use wood glue and 4mm staples to secure them. A ceiling of 1,800mm is easy to install, but it is unavoidable that the last board will shift diagonally about 5-7mm. to The widths of the two sides of the process board always differ. During the installation of a long nokitin or a ceiling, I confirm the spacing for every meter installed and adjust the placement accordingly. In this house, a large portion of the board overlaps the wall. It will be better if the tongue was properly inserted so I tighten it as much as possible. Now, the hanging wall on the front porch and the ceiling, also known as Noki Den, are in place. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.